16 November 2016. This hamster has been here for five days and uh, the main problem was the dental abscess. Dental abscess, as you can see, the shoulder abscess. You see the other video, it was a big swelling, like, like at least three quarters of a golf ball size. And of course now it's a much put the light much better. Now we initially we we did the the aspiration which is no use because the abscess forms again. So the best is to lance it, make, make a big cut. This is not big enough, actually normally should be bigger. But anyway, that there, there are two other ways of treating this this uh then the abscess. Uh, by different vets. One vet will, will advise to do the mass supervisation whereby you stitch up the whereby you stitch up the the mucosa to the skin. So that means you stitch up this part to this part and keep it an open wound until uh, a few few maybe a few weeks so the owner can clean up. The owner can syringe in Strange in the chlorhexidine, yeah, this, that's what we're demonstrating now. Every day, twice a day, to clear all the bacteria inside. This bacteria comes from the from the jaw abscess because of the decay in the teeth. Yeah, so the owner will do it twice a day. That's what we demonstrate. So, for me, I didn't do the stitching up the marsupialization because the owner will have to come back again. But the thing is, this this uh, wound must be lanced longer so that it doesn't close overnight. Now there's, there's this is one method. The other method is, uh, according to some vets, is to take out the joint capsule, no, the, the capsulated, encapsulated abscess. Inside there's a capsule and go inside and cut out away the capsule. And so therefore, they cut away the bacteria. But uh, that would be quite drastic because you need to big, cut a big hole and then you go inside and uh, and uh, take out the uh, capsule of the abscess which I don't think is necessary. So my method is just to hospitalize it for a few days and strange out all the bacteria and dead, dead cells and uh, give antibiotics orally. So far you can see the stools, any stools? You can see the, 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 the guinea pig has eaten already and you can see some stools here and there coming out. Now, the other thing is the ears, the ear cleaning. So take the scope first and the scope will show that uh, there is some, uh, uh, some dirt hmm, or mites or not. So if there is, see any mites or not, okay. Autoscope, yeah. Okay, now so then we will do the ear cleaning. Okay, okay, we see already. Okay, this is just to demonstrate. Then the third part is the the clipping of the cloth. The owner didn't do it. Yeah. Owner didn't clip the cloth, and didn't really uh, groom the the hem. So now the cloth has been clipped. It's also just a demonstration. Yeah. So either the owner send it to the groomer or the owner does it himself. Okay, so now we go to the main problem inside here. It's overgrown molars and and incisors. Just open the mouth. They are really, they are the ear cleaning related. This uh, open the mouth and you see the the incisors have been trimmed. That's why the guinea pig is eating now. Open up, open up, you see. There's some uh, fibroplex still not swallowed. Okay, then the, the the side, the molar, overgrown molars, which you can't see now, but I have already taken photographs in the images of the earlier videos. So, this will be explain why the guinea pig now eats very well. Huh? You can see from the stools, there were quite a lot of stools the last two days only, after the the cutting away of the molar spurs. So, in conclusion, okay, in conclusion, when the hamster has overgrown incisors, it doesn't mean that it uh, just come and cut the front teeth and then every month you come and cut. This applies to rabbits also. So, important thing is actually if the hamster is not 
putting on weight. Take, do three things, physical examination, otoscopic examination of the mouth for the molars first, or incisors, overgrown incisors, and then the skull x-ray. Skull x-ray, which uh, I've shown in the, it's a, it's a, this is the left side, so it'll be on the left side, left oblique, yeah. This, this head will be down, turn, turn this. So in this case, and in x-ray, probably under sedation, then the head down, and then it's a oblique, it's a bit of oblique view. It's sort of oblique view so that you can see the teeth, yeah. Let's see if you can see the teeth over, overlapping rather than, you see one, one set of lateral view only. So this concludes the case. Okay, finish. Concludes the case of dental abscess in a guinea pig. It's a lot of work to be done. It's not just come here and and clip the clip the front teeth.